Tonight, the Metro East is reporting its first cases of COVID-19. Thank you for joining us. I'm Lauren Traeger. There are now confirmed cases of coronavirus on both sides of the river. We want to take you now to some numbers from Missouri and Illinois and where they stand right now. There are still just four confirmed cases in the state of Missouri. Today, though, the number in Illinois rose to 64. That includes two cases in the Metro East. Our News Force Kim St. Ange joins us live from Belleville with the details. Well, Lauren, both those cases are women, one in her 60s and one in her 70s. The St. Clair County Health Department held the press conference this afternoon right here behind me, telling us both of these women had traveled it's internationally to Europe and Asia and returned here within the last week. They are quarantined at home right now, both tested positive at a St. Clair County hospital. The health department says they only had light symptoms. The health department won't tell us where specifically the women live in St. Clair County, claiming that would violate HIPAA laws. The head of the health department also says she does not know exactly where in Europe or Asia the women had traveled. Right now, health officials are asking the women who they came in contact with. Those people will also be quarantined. Interview them at extensive detail according to CDC guidelines. And is it anyone they've come in contact with in the last, say, like week, two weeks since they got back from the trip? or during the trip, I guess? We, we have no other cases of COVID-19 uh, in St. Clair County. Are we testing others? Not specific to this case, but we're testing several and have tested several since December. Keep in mind, Tuesday is Illinois' primary. The governor today still encouraging everyone to come out and vote. Early voting sites are already open. The uh, crew here at the health department also saying they're making sure that all of those voting sites will be thoroughly disinfected. Live in St. Clair County, Kim St. Ange, News 4.